Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six-second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one, synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. After the last few worlds, I'll be sure to appreciate it. It'll keep you sane. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries, and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. Maybe you should assign an accountant to this job. This isn't about credit trails. These are dangerous people. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. But Intelligence does have one asset. Vector Hillis. Vector was an Imperial Ambassador to the Nobles, but he was later... repurposed. Now he's with the Kilix, Alderaan's native alien species. I'm not familiar with them. What's their story? The Kilix are an insectoid species that evolved on Alderaan. Most of the nests migrated into space millennia ago, but a few remain planetside. When Vector approached the Kilix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. How's that possible? Prolonged exposure to the Kilix induces physiological changes. He shares thoughts, feelings with them, but we don't know much more. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. Your rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watcher 2 out. Yes, this is the one, as the song schedule determined. I can't wait to see how this goes. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboros Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. Cypher 9. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Of course. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest, forge a bond between Empire and Kilix. The change is a small price. Changed or not, you clean up well. You're very kind. We'd rub forearms, but it might not translate. Yes. As to your target, Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. Do you have an ID on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Fool. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. I appreciate the advice. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire. Show strength, and don't mention your intelligence connections. In the name of Baron Payar Cortes and the Cortes Barony, I demand you state your business or face expulsion. How dare you speak this way to me? I am a Countess of House Thul. Indeed. Forgive me, Alice, if I'd known you were coming. I knew nothing of Thul emissaries either, Captain. I am Baroness Che Cortes, Your Highness. Forgive our inhospitality, but my husband has no time for visitors. I believe he'll want to speak to me. It's a matter of life and death. Aren't they all, though? Some days ago, we lost a squad of battle droids patrolling the borders of Cortes lands. That squad was our first line of defense. We believe the squad's disappearance may presage an attack, yet not one of our allies has come to our aid. That explains a great deal. You have my sympathies, Baroness. I'm not looking for sympathy. We don't know what destroyed our droids. They went silent. Until we find out, we must prepare for the worst. If you wish to make amends, send your troops to determine the fate of our patrol. Perhaps that will make my Baron smile again. We'll do everything possible to make this right. I'll leave you to Captain Perovius. 
I hope to see you under better circumstances. Your Highness, if your men find the droids, tell them to activate the squad's homing beacon. Perhaps the data logs will help us. Sis Captain Provius, a pleasure to hear from you, Your Highness. I'm impressed that you conducted the search personally. We're receiving the droids' logs now. You have my thanks. No thanks are necessary. It was my privilege. I would have lost men conducting the search. You saved lives today. At any rate, these logs are... discouraging. The droids skirmish with the Killix. Blasted bugs are on Cortez lands again. I ran into a few more on my way here. Figures as much. Rumor has it that the Killick nest is growing. Probably scouting for a new home. I'll make sure the Baron knows. Those things won't build a new hive in Cortez territory. I'll tell you that. I'm sure the Killix will get your message. Indeed. In the meantime, I have a message for you. The Baroness is offering you an invitation to the estate. You may return at your leisure. Baron is expecting you. This way, please. Our guest has arrived, my lord. Baron Payar Cortes, Sword of the Castle Lands. I hereby present to you the Honorable Countess Thule, emissary of her house. This woman risked herself in the service of House Cortes, valiantly recovering our lost patrol and identifying the Killick threat. In appreciation of her noble deeds and out of respect for her accomplishments, I ask that you grant her recognition. I so grant her recognition. I am Baron Payar Cortes, my lady. Welcome to my home. The pleasure is mine, Baron. Then we are both fortunate. I hope I didn't give the wrong impression at the gates. I, I just take the security of my house very seriously. One of few things she does, along with her gardens and her act dogs. You'll make me blush, my lord. Tell me now, why do you seek my house? Is there a favor you would ask? An alliance you'd propose? I'm trying to identify a visitor to House Cortes. I know when he was here, but not his name or face. I'll gladly help. Show me what you have. The dates in your files, yes, we've had visitors at these times, but that's no surprise. I believe the guest you're looking for is Master Denry Ale. We've hosted him and his summit on a number of occasions. Let's hear some more. Denry Ale was once Lord Denry Ale, a powerful and respected man among the vassal houses. But some years ago, he abdicated his position. He became a mediator dedicated to forging peace. Strange you should ask about him now. For several weeks, Denry Ale has been missing. Whether off on some secret negotiation or something more regrettable, no one knows. We can't let him disappear. It would be unfortunate. I'll begin looking into Ale's whereabouts through formal and informal diplomatic channels. If I can find him for you, I will. You may also wish to investigate the matter yourself. I'm sure House Thule has friends who can assist. I appreciate your efforts, Baron. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay as a guest. House Cortes prides itself on its hospitality. We'll have to dine together. You can meet the Ack Dogs. The Baron has spoken. This audience is at an end. Is it me, or are there more bugs than last time? Welcome back. Your aura reflects your attunement to the great song. Vector, good to see you again, too. Our observers saw you enter the Cortes estate. The Fingerlings were listening and heard mention of Denry Ale. We met Ale during our time as ambassador. With his wealth and talent, he could be your target. The Baron claims not to know his whereabouts. We might be able to help. Our nest has had many joiners over the years. Soldiers, children, nobles. We can search their memories and see what they know of Denry Ale. Let's see what you come up with. 
We remember Pabal Alda. When her speeder crashed, our foragers brought her to the hive. Our healers tended her. We became one. Her house, House Alda, an old house of scholars and antiquarians, granted Ale residence in honor of his work as a mediator. Ale kept records of his work in the older estate. If you can penetrate the estate's defenses, those records are yours. Good work. I'll have those records in no time. If we may be so bold. A warning. House Alder opposes the Empire, and the estate is always prepared for an Imperial attack, even a stealthy one. Be careful. It's good to see you. Yes, we... We apologize. The nest has been invigorated by star dancing. If you could smell the pheromones, you'd understand our restlessness. Having trouble controlling the Killix. There's nothing to be concerned about. The hive is growing, and we all benefit. We even have a gift for you. These orbs contain white membrosia, rare nectar produced by our givers. Pull back the wax and sip. You'll find it gives strength and healing. Nothing wins a girl's heart like bug milk. There's truth to that among Killix, but we're not sure that you'd like the details. In any case, how's the search for Denry Ale? Here, I located the files in House Alder. This is perplexing. It looks like Ale funded the destruction of the Dominator and the assassination of Darth Jadus. But the rest is very odd. Have you shown this to Baron Peyer? I was hoping I wouldn't need to. Baron Peyer may see nuances we don't. We've mentioned our difficulty with human personalities. We'll be on alert should you need anything else. The nest embraces our unity. Back. I'll let the Baron know you're here. My dear, you shouldn't concern yourself with trifling details. I am concerned. This house needs all I can give, not just my gardening skills. Enough. We'll speak later. Your Highness, it's a pleasure to see you on such a chilly day. But if you're here about Denry Ale, I must disappoint. I've been gathering information, yet I cannot locate him with any certainty. This data from House Alder might help. These records... They are the pieces of a puzzle my own sources left incomplete. It appears that some weeks ago, Master Ale arranged a secret meeting with House Wrist. That meeting is doubtless occurring as we speak. I'm not familiar with that house. House Wrist is a stain upon the nobility. A house of slayers and poisoners. I suggest you wait for Denry Ale's return. A month, perhaps two. Don't earn the Wrist assassin's ire by interfering in their affairs. It'll take more than dilettantes with knives to hurt me. House Wrist earned its place through cunning and murder. 
Its blades are not dull, and confronting them will do no good. Now, I must cut this discussion short. I have other matters to attend to. See to our guest, my lady. Make certain Cortez hospitality remains second to none. I'm sorry about my husband. He's a busy man, and a brave one. Just not brave enough to confront the house wrist. Care to explain that? Everything the Baron said about Wrist is true. They are a stain on society, and a foe of Cortes. When I was a child, Wrist assassins poisoned my father and slit my brother's throat. Justice was never done. Why are you telling me this? The Baron won't listen to my ideas. But you could show him the meaning of bravery. You could show all the houses that defying Wrist isn't hopeless. Find Denry Ale, fight the assassins, and go with all our hopes. I don't like assassins. I'll make sure they remember my visit. You gladden my heart. I'll leave you alone. I'd warn you to be careful, but I know you will be. I was starting to wonder if we'd meet face to face. Welcome to House Wrist. My name is Denry Ale, but of course you know that, and so much more after stealing my records. A pleasure to meet you, Master Ale. Oh, and you. I hear you've been looking for me for some time, Your Highness. You claim allegiance to House Thule. Not that it matters. When we heard you were on your way, I arranged for my friends at considerable expense to prepare a traditional wrist welcome. Surrender, Ale. You're not getting away. I can't do that. And this is one situation where mediation isn't the answer. Now, should you manage to drive past the poisoned blades of my wrist friends here, I'll warn you, I am a skilled duelist. But I doubt that'll be relevant. Gentlemen, you may kill the intruder. You worthless filth! You may have killed me, but you can't take away what I've achieved! I worked for peace on Alderaan. I showed the houses how to settle their differences. What have you ever done for decent men? Don't talk. I'll try to bind your wounds. <laughs> a little... <clears throat> a little late for that. I'm sorry to disturb, but this message must reach you in time. The situation's grown worse. The thorn in my side knows you're visiting House Wrist, and I believe she'll soon give chase. She's dangerous, Denry. She's in league with my husband, and somehow gained access to your personal journals. You're going to need protection. I know the Wrists aren't committed to working for us yet, but I hope you can convince them to help you. I'm sure you can sway them somehow. You've a way with words. Leave Cortez lands immediately, or be forcibly expelled. What are you talking about? The Baroness has revoked your access to the estate. She's ordered all defenses raised. You may as well turn around. We've got blast doors, force fields. This estate is designed to repel an army. The Baroness is funding terrorists, and I have proof. I'm not interested in your proof. I'm interested in removing a threat to my house. All droids, attack now! Fun. I don't think blasters are going to get us through here, Agent. Maybe we should talk to your bug boy. Come inside. The nest is prepared to defend you. Yeah, that's what you need these bugs for. Defending us. Our observers saw what happened. Why did Cortez turn on you? How can we help? Turns out the Baroness is working with the terrorists. The Baroness? This is... Unexpected. The Nest has studied the Cortez estate's defenses and deemed them formidable. The interior shields are designed for squads of human attackers. The perimeter security systems are meant to combat armies and killic swarms. Why does the Nest know so much about Cortez's defenses? We've been studying Cortez for some time. We've been thorough. The power generators are behind the main estate. They're well guarded, but they might be sabotaged from the inside. 
if we, if I could reach the generators, I could release a swarm of fingerling killix. Our smallest brethren can easily slip through the cracks and damage the machinery. You've got miniature saboteur bugs. Yes. There are times when smaller bodies prove useful. If you two are taking out the shield generators, I'll keep the Cortez patrols busy. Maybe poach something nice. You planning to steal the Baron's prize, Thrantus? What? We've got room on the ship. Each of us can carry a handful of fingling eggs. Once our young destroy the shield generator, we can proceed inside. Done. Baron, I beg of you. You have made an enemy of the Empire. You have brought vermin into my house. I swear, I only wanted to protect us. Silence! <laughs> my honored guest, I bow my head in surrender, and I apologize for what's become of Cortez. You had no idea what your wife's been up to. It is the truth. Our reinforcements have arrived. We will attack on your signal. I knew nothing of my wife's conspiracy. She only confessed once the house defenses were down. But I will make amends. Now, Captain. She didn't have to die. How could you? I had no other choice. Now, take your insects away from this place. We can discuss further recompense as civilized people. We're afraid that's not your decision, Baron. Denry Ale and the Baroness are dead. With our assistance, the terrorist funding has been stopped. Now the nest will claim its price. I should have expected something like this. What do you want, Vector? House Cortez will make a perfect extension of the hive. These rooms will become egg chambers and membrosia pools. The family can become joiners. What? You cannot do this! I gave you my wife! House Cortez opposed the Empire and must be subdued. The nest is growing and must expand its territory. There's no reason we can't talk this through. We don't understand. By allowing the Killix to absorb House Cortez, both the Empire and the Nest benefit. Why would you object? The Baron gave us what we needed. The threat is over. A member of House Cortez acted against the Empire, therefore it is the will of House Cortez to oppose you. The Nest doesn't distinguish between the actions of groups and individuals, and the colony must expand. Agent, we... I must know if you intend to oppose us. If you do, the Nest will fight to defend its claim. Would you fight me too? We would not. Our loyalty to the Empire comes first. We have to defend Cortez. I'm glad you're on my side. We understand. We'll do what needs to be done. Men, defend the Baron! Nest has withdrawn. House Cortez is safe. For now. You turned on the Nest. That couldn't have been easy. The Nest transformed us into the Dawn Herald. The Nest gave us peace and understanding. But we were always the Empire's emissary. I am grateful for your aid. House Cortes 
has suffered enough. You've endured some terrible losses, Baron. The weeks ahead may prove trying, but we will endure. Baron, perhaps you'd allow us to access your computers. We are certain our superiors would like to see the Baroness's files. Captain Barovius, arrange it. I must see to our defenses in case anyone else would take advantage of our humbled state. This is Keeper to Cipher 9. I'm receiving your transmission. Watchers are reviewing the Quartus logs now. It looks like you've wrapped up the terrorist financing situation. Congratulations. Keeper? I wasn't expecting to hear from you. I pay close attention to my operations. Preliminary analysis suggests the Eagles Terror Network will run low on funds within weeks. The cells will look for alternative credit sources, of course. Let's not give them the chance to find any. That should wrap things up. Excellent. Now I have news for you, both of you. I contacted Vector's superiors in the diplomatic service, and we've reached an agreement. Sir? Your requisition has been made permanent. You've been officially transferred to Imperial Intelligence. Cypher 9, from now on, Vector Hellas will act as a covert assault agent under your command. Understood? Understood. Welcome aboard, Vector. We'll do our best to live up to expectations. Once you're through on Alderaan, return to your ship for debriefing. Watcher 2 should have updates ready for you. In the meantime, instruct Vector as you see fit. I expect he'll require additional training. I'll handle it. Good. Stay alert, Cypher. Keep her out. Agent, we are grateful for this opportunity. After fighting the Nest, we don't think we can return to the Hive. Fighting the Kilix was the right thing to do. Remember that. Of course. Thank you. We'll follow the rhythm of the Song of the Universe until the Great Merging comes. This is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Verify that you're receiving and prepare for takeoff. We've located the Eagle. Watcher 2, you're fantastic. I certainly am. And you're going to love this. We knew the Eagle had abandoned his old base, but until you neutralized that last cell, we didn't know the details. Now we do. The Eagle is on Hutter. Get there as soon as you can. It all comes back to the beginning. For you, at least. I have to go now, Cypher, but I'll brief you on site. Watcher 2 out. Signal received. Transmission secure. All right, Cypher. Looks like this is the real thing. Ready to invade the Eagle's Nest? You'd better believe it. The Eagle and his men are holed up in an old refinery beneath the river. Sending coordinates now. You'll lead the forward assault but military reinforcements will surround the base and follow you in. Primary objective is to capture or eliminate the Eagle himself. Acknowledged and understood. Your secondary objective is the Eradicators. The terrorists have begun launching their biomechanical weapons over Imperial worlds. Once the devices are ready, the terrorists can fire on cities and military bases from orbit. We'll find a way to stop them. I hope so. After the Dominator, everyone who died along with Darth Jadis, I don't want to go through that again. When you're in that base, don't let anyone escape. Don't let the Eagle murder again. Watch her two out. We're cut off. Thurston and Gerald tried to get out, but the Imperials are all over the swamps. They would be. Damnation. I promised Gerald she'd die with the detonator in one hand and a glass of brandy in the other. Seems she's made a liar of me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. You were everything I could have hoped for. Now carve us a path out. I'll follow soon. All right, I see you. The least I could do was send the boy off with hope. But have you seen the strength of the revolution? Cells on Narshadar, Tholet and Molvar, Alderaan, Balmora. It's an inspiration, no matter how it ends. Your inspiration is terrorism. Plain and simple. Nothing is plain or simple about terrorism, about rebellion, or about covert intelligence. That's your field, I presume. You don't look military. 
Tell me something. How much of my story has the Empire uncovered? What have your methods found? We found out all about your little orbital weapons. Your eradicators. <laughs> Look behind me. That. That is an eradicator. Technology developed on Dromund Cass and Balmora. They can be grown anywhere. Six dozen are already in place. They'll wait to receive orders, at first. But eventually, without commands, they'll run rampant. Fire blindly at cities from orbit. Surrender, and we can work out a deal. Stop this attack. There will be no deals. Uncontrolled, the Eradicators won't hit our targets, but chaos and death still send a message. Now we're done. May whoever survives see a glorious future for the Empire. Abomination. Even surrounded, even seeing you, I didn't think it would happen like this. But as I said, it, it makes no difference. The Eradicators will run rampant, the Empire will burn, and you have been betrayed. You lost, Eagle. Nothing can save you now. My patron. The one who showed me how to unite the cells, proposed the Eradicators, is one of your own people. A traitor in your empire has been helping us all along. Your civilization is so corrupt that it's destroying itself. Why reveal this now? What are you trying to do? Think of it as one last seed of discord sown before Eradication Day. Goodbye now. Watch me burn. He has a detonator. Get back. Area is clear. Sir, are you all right? Cypher 9, it's Watcher 3. Are you hurt? That was a nasty explosion. A little singed, but better than the eagle. That really was him? Fantastic. Keeper sent me to assist with information retrieval. Slicing the Eagle's computers. I'll also check out that device there. I think it's an Eradicator. Move fast. The Eradicators may still be a threat. Yes, sir. Cypher, I've got some preliminary findings. It's not good news. I overheard what the Eagle said. Looks like he was telling the truth. If no one gives the Eradicators new orders, they'll go mad fire randomly. How much damage can they do? A few dozen are out there. Tens of thousands of people could die. Here's the good part. I figured out their control mechanism. Transmit the proper codes, and you can set the device's targets, disable them, anything. The Eagle stored half the control codes on his computers. Someone else must have the second half. The Eagle mentioned a patron. Yes, sir. The one inside the Empire. Not sure what that means. You should head to Drum and Cars. I don't think there's anything more you can do here, and Keeper wants you back at headquarters. For nine, come inside. This should be a triumphant moment. It's a tremendous achievement bringing down the Eagle. The crisis has only escalated. The Eradicators could begin firing at any moment. What's our current status? Watcher 2, your report. The Moths have placed local forces on alert, and a search for the Eradicators is underway. Unfortunately, trends suggest we can only find one device every five hours. It'll be weeks before we destroy them all. Disappointing, but not a surprise. Damage projections? Estimates are 10 to 50 million deaths on each planet targeted. 40% military, 60% civilian. Even at the low end, that's unacceptable. Agreed. It sends the message that the Empire is vulnerable. In order to deactivate the Eradicators en masse, we need the control codes. Half the codes won the Eagle's computers. We can only surmise that the other half are with the Eagle's patron. Yes, the patron. The man whom the Eagle claims is inside the Empire. Any idea who it could be? I have my doubt that this patron is really a highly placed Imperial. It seems unlikely such a person could escape our scrutiny. Nonetheless, we can't ignore the possibility of a traitor. That's why we're meeting privately. Only the people in this room know the full situation. Caution would seem prudent. Indeed. Watcher 2? The Eagle had been sending periodic transmissions to someone in the Artis system. 
Artus is uninhabited, devoid of resources and off the major hyperlanes. Our patron could certainly hide there. I want you to lead a mission to Artus. You're to find the Eagle's patron and obtain his half of the control codes. Watch her two will rendezvous with you there. She knows more about the Eradicators than anyone. I'll be glad to have her around. We'll get the job done. Your ships will be outfitted with cloaking devices. They'll only last one jump, but they'll get you into Artus unnoticed. After that, infiltrate whatever base the patron is using. Recover the Eradicator control codes and stop the threat. Watcher 2, you're dismissed. If you want to talk before the mission, I'll be at my station. There is one more thing. Darth Sor had heard you were returning to Drummond Kass. She wants to speak to you. Any idea what she wants? No, she tells me very little. When you're through, head to the artist system. This is our only chance, Cypher. Fail, and we all pay a grievous cost. Cypher, I'm glad you stopped by. I've been going over the mission parameters, studying the eradicator control code, scans of the artist system. We're facing a mystery, and I hate mysteries. You may hate mysteries, but you're pretty good at solving them. I am. I don't mind having that recognized, call it vanity, but I like knowing my creation served a purpose. What about you? What's been going through your head since this countdown to Eradication Day started? All I can think is that someone's betraying us. Don't. Keeper knows the players involved, and Lodenth and I can run the psychological profiles. If someone's disloyal, we'll find out. You sound awfully sure of that. I am, and I don't want to discuss the matter further. In any case, you should get ready. The Eradicators won't wait for either of us. Let's get this done. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Once you take off for the Arta system, I'll be on your tail. We'll meet out there. The controller includes electrical burns, lacerations, and retinal damage. Transfer to a Colto tank for long-term recovery is strongly recommended. You suggest a Dark Council member hide in a vat? For healing? I am programmed to dispense medical advice based on all relevant factors. Get out! Have yourself disassembled, made into a probe, and sent to the most desolate place in the Empire. Look, Agent. They hurt me. And then they laughed. How could they? Maybe someone felt you needed humbling. I'm a dark lord of the Sith. I'm not meant to be humble. I'm meant to humble the world. After Viorianor broke, I called the council to assembly. I demanded the lords give me the respect I was due. Some are angry. Mocked me. They tormented me and warned me not to overstep my bounds again. The Dark Council did this. They called me an arrogant child, unworthy of my position. It's all Jadis's fault. He was my master, but he never taught me what I needed to know. Now he's dead and I'm not ready for his council seat. If you're not fit for the responsibility, you should abdicate. All my enemies would strike at me then, and all Jadis's too. I know what's happening in Imperial Intelligence. I know you're going on a mission, and that the Eagle wasn't the man you thought. Swear that you'll find whoever really killed my father. Swear that the man responsible will pay for forcing me into this wretched life. I swear I will make him pay. Yes. You will exact my revenge. And the world will be made right. I have gifts for you, Agent. Take them with my blessing and leave me to salt my wounds. And to gain strength from my hatred. This place is stark. We smell no pheromones. Feel no auras. We should be cautious. Cypher, there's no one to welcome us. Seems our cloaking device has worked. Where are we, anyway? In orbit around Artus V. It's a gas giant, no life forms. This starship is a modified Imperial Dreadnought, maximum crew complement of 5,000. 
It's also jamming long-range communications, so I can't check its registration or call for reinforcements. Our traitor is hiding his tracks. Nonetheless, top priority is finding the eradicated command codes before the weapons initiate a random firing pattern. This data spike contains our half of the codes. Once you obtain the other half, you should be able to control the eradicators from any computer. Any idea where the codes might be stored? If we're lucky, they'll be on the bridge computers, and you can deactivate the eradicators from there. If they're not, I don't know. I do have one other thing for you. A comlink implant. So long as you're wearing it, I can monitor your situation and speak to you privately. Is this one-way communication, or can I reply? Subvocally. Whisper to me, and no one else will hear. While you search the interior, I'll try to slice the security systems. We're counting on you. Put an end to this. A grand social experiment. There's probably a hundred of us from across the Empire. All saved from the fire. Who knows how or why. For the most part, we're left to ourselves. Squabbling and fighting. Left to fear our own shadows. But we know the Master's out there. And I'm convinced there's a plan at work. Somebody wants to change us. Someone wants to control us. It's been... I don't know how long it's been. I lose count of the days during the blackout. The ones furthest along. They say our terror transforms us into the Master's image. Well, I'll tell the Master what's really happening. We're learning to fight back. Do you hear me, Master? We'll kill you for this. We'll kill you! So happy when I got the invitation. Everything was going to change for me. Leave home for a year? Why has the Master picked me to survive when hundreds died? And now the rest of us, one by one. My mother was a slave, but I wasn't because my father was an officer. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, please. Please, someone rescue us! Something's wrong. Like, rot within the hive. There is taint spreading through the unity. So, you've arrived at last. Cypher, I know that voice. I expected too little of you. You served me well on Hutter and on Drome and Kars. I should have known you would serve me again. Are you responsible for this? Everything that has transpired has been at my command. My will is the destiny of lesser men. Once before, you were inoculated by the dark side. I will speak now as I spoke then. Accept the gift of your life, Agent, and we will discuss Terror, the Empire, and the Sith. Give me one good reason not to open fire. My tolerance has limits. Your destruction serves neither of us. Don't, Cypher. You know what he's capable of. I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it'll take time. And if he has the command codes... It was my desire that the Eagle unite the terror cells. It was my desire that my flagship be destroyed. I required a weapon that the Dark Council would overlook. The terrorists became my unknowing servants and carried out my plan. You sanctioned the murder of Imperials. You faked your own assassination. Only to achieve something greater. With my false death, I escaped the eyes of the Dark Council and of Imperial Intelligence. After the Dominator, I came here, bringing with me those passengers worthy of elevation. I maneuvered my pieces into place. I'm not one of your game pieces, Lord Jadis. You were once until I allowed you independence. Keep him talking. Damn it. We can't fight him on our own. His power is second to the Emperor's. I accomplished two things during my absence. First was the diminution of the Dark Council. Upon my death, my former enemies began warring amongst themselves, vying to claim my resources. Darth Jorid's arrival escalated the chaos. My daughter is doomed, but she is an adequate distraction. I can't call for reinforcements so long as that jamming field is active. But he'll annihilate anything less than an army. It doesn't matter who he is. He's not going to win this. Right. Running analysis. Throwing the Sith into disorder was only the start. The rest of the Empire had to be prepared as well. That was the Eagle's purpose. To sow fright and hatred. 
All this while, my eradicators were growing. Now they are ready, and my victory is close at hand. You're as crazy as your daughter. You fail to understand. The eradicators will destroy the strongholds and apprentices of my enemies on the council. So too will the eradicators terrorize the empire. Then I will return to the council and lead the empire into a new age, an epoch of terror. Why do so many civilians have to die? How better to mark the change of an era? I see where this is going. He needs the eradicators to make this work, but you have half the command codes. Under my rule, all people will revel in fear and anger and degradation. These prizes will no longer be hoarded by Sith. But without both halves of the Eradicator Codes, my weapons cannot be targeted. They will merely cause chaos. It sounds like you're in trouble. Perhaps. But your position is more tenuous. I know you have the second set of codes. Without orders, the Eradicators will fire blindly. This serves neither of us. Enter your codes into the ship so the Eradicators can target my enemies. You will be rewarded. You will be my herald. Last time you promised me something, you faked your own death. I misunderstood your role. Consider what I can offer now. Power, wealth, a place in my vision. When I rule the Dark Council, Imperial Intelligence will have a mandate uncompromised by Sith politics. Imagine a world where you could act with true authority and fear controls the populace. Together, we can create a stronger empire. If I don't cooperate, what will you do? If you refuse, you will die at my hand. The Eradicators will still reap untold destruction. Your sacrifice would mean nothing. I can be merciful. Take the time to consider your choice. Then we can begin the true work. We'll see about that. All right, stay focused and don't look at Jadis. How are you holding up? Can we put together a plan? I know what I'm going to do. It wasn't a hard choice. Before you make any decisions, please, hear me out. We need to re-examine our priorities. We came here to stop the Eradicators, but we weren't prepared for reality. Our plan now has to focus on neutralizing Darth Jadis. Everything else is peripheral. There's still an imminent attack to worry about. I'm sorry, Cypher. The numbers aren't in our favor. You can deactivate the Eradicators right now. Just combine the codes in the bridge computers. But to keep Jadis from reactivating them, you'd have to blow up the ship's reactor. It's a suicide run, and chances are Jadis would escape. The Eradicators would be disabled. That was our mission. It's not that simple. If Darth Jadis escapes, he'll come back. Not next year, maybe, but eventually. There's another way. A way to stop him from hurting anyone again. We can lure him into a trap by earning his confidence. Give him the codes to the Eradicators, and let him launch his attack. This is your plan? Do exactly what he wants? Prove your loyalty, and he'll turn his back on you. He's too arrogant to do otherwise. Once the Eradicators start their bombardment, you slip off the bridge and take the ship apart. You sabotage the jamming field, hyperdrive, and shields. Then I can call in reinforcements. The military, the Dark Council, forcing Jadis to surrender. The Eradicators are deactivated as soon as feasible. It could be the chance we need. Sacrifice a few lives to gain Jadis' trust. You're making the right choice, Cypher. Enter the codes at the bridge console. Let Jadis target the Eradicators however he wants, then we sabotage the ship. I promise his victory will be short-lived. Eradicators are offline. Repeat, the Eradicators are offline. Let's hope this works. 
I expected more of you. Disabling the Eradicators will not stop me. You will die unwarned, and I will reactivate the devices and begin my assault. You won't do anything if this place is dust. He'll kill you, Cypher. You can't fight Jadus, but you might slow him down. This ship can generate internal ray shielding. Now, kneel before your doom. If you can reroute the power, we can trap him in a force field, then get to the reactor core and destroy this ship. His power level's becoming unstable. You did it, Cypher. This whole place is about to explode. Give me an update. The terror attack. Never began. The deactivation worked. And once the ship is destroyed, the Eradicators cease to be a threat. As for Jadus, he's out of the force field and on his way to a shuttle. No way to catch him. But he won't recover from his setback anytime soon. Too bad we can't make him pay. You decided that stopping the Eradicators was more important. You knew what you were doing. I'm taking off, but I'll wait in system as long as I can. You need to get out before the reactor detonates. Good luck. I'm afraid you wouldn't make it, Cypher. Good to see you alive. The self-destruct sequence is complete. Jadis' ship has been reduced to cinders in Artis V's gravity well. And the eradicator command codes went with it. I believe that qualifies as a heroic victory. I think it does at that. I'm sending a message to Keeper. These events will cause complications among the Sith. But I expect the Dark Council will sort matters quietly. They'll keep Jadis on the run, and we stopped a massacre. I know you had doubts about the plan. I ran the numbers. I dread the day Jadis returns and what he'll do. But the call was yours, and I'm glad no one had to die. The song of the universe favors our actions. The nest, our empire, is stronger for it. I'm glad you are here to help. So are we. We've often been uncertain about our place in intelligence, but not right now. The bug boy has a point. He didn't do bad. I'd have gutted the Sith, though. Come on. Don't tell me you didn't get a rush. Sure. Running from a Dark Lord on an exploding ship? It's the reason I stick with you. I'll see you at headquarters, Cypher. Enjoy the downtime while it lasts. There'll be debriefings, cleanup, and sooner than you think, Keeper will have your next assignment. See you back at home, Watcher 2. Mission accomplished. Watcher 2 out. <laughs>